Hello and welcome back to Moonring. I, well, I've made some, um, you know, discoveries along the way. Oh, rotting and slow. Okay. Uh, I don't know where we're going to go. Oh, we could check out that. That seems like something we want to check out. But, uh, I, yeah, I've been, I'm just kind of roaming around. I'm trying to figure things out. I don't know why I'm rotting. Why am I rotting? Why am I rotting? It's fine. You are rotting. I don't know why. All right, we'll, we'll check out this town. This might be a ruin. Need great key. Okay. So this is uh, maybe actually a temple. There seems to be a lot going on in there. Still rotting. Why am I rotting? Okay, well, need great key. I wonder if I can use uh, that business I, I saw for sale. Entering dark mirror. I wonder... Do I have, like, too much food that's, like, poison? Or, uh, or, or not, not good to eat? Can I, like, throw this away? No, I don't want to... I don't want to eat it. Alright, well, uh, it's not hurting us. It's just hurting our hunger. Which is not a big deal. Ow, this guy gets two attacks, huh? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw down a bloodstone, like, over there. And hopefully that'll bleed the other guy. Did I... We get... We didn't get hit by the bleeding there. Amazingly. I don't know how. I guess, uh, something you gotta really be mindful of, something I'm gonna try and be more mindful of, is when you attack, it really takes up a lot of time. You're using up a lot of time, so if... There's something very, uh, with a bit of nuance that you need to do, like, for instance, dodge a thing. Um, you really need to be aware that if you attack, you're basically forgoing your ability to dodge, to do anything like that. I'm gonna go back here because I'd like to set another checkpoint. Um, this is... what is this place again? Harrow Dust. This is the, uh, Jester's kind of, like, town, hometown. Um, I don't know what the deal is right now. Kindling here. Oh yeah, well, we, we pick up those. We take those. All right. It's my favorite saying that I did not earn at all, you know? You know those? You know, like, uh, you know, like when you're of a different generation and, uh, you know, the new generation comes up with like, uh, you know, some kind of term, like, I don't know, like bussin', you know? I, I, was, a, I was a big fan of that for a bit. And it's like, you didn't earn that. That's not yours. I can't, I'm not allowed to use that. It's not, not for me. I, I have to say, I have to continue saying weird, lame, cringe things like YOLO. That's the purgatory that I have been delegated. Um, I, you know, I, I'll say things like YOLO and you can have, you can have bussin if you want. Well, I'll, I'll make that trade, I suppose. Just don't make fun of me, you know? Don't, don't laugh at me. Or do laugh at me, you know, it's fine. Why is this, uh, shiny? This monolith seems to be surrounded by a shimmering barrier. Evidently something more is needed to access this part of the web. The web, huh? What does this say? As you lay your hands upon the stone, you see a vision. A dense forest, wood smoke hanging in the air, and silent rush of wolves. That sounds familiar. Ragged hills and overlooking overlooking the sea and a pair of tall stones standing like proud sentinels. That definitely sounds familiar. As you lay your hand, um, hmm. This is new. Great mountains split by a river and a town huddled all among the rocks. So it seems to me that um, completing <clears throat> various major tasks is going to complete not just like one uh, quest, but multiple. Ooh, we have a we have a big big bug. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. We're just gonna wait here for a second. They seem to be unaware of me. Resist bleeding. We're poisoned. That's not good. Let's go ahead and throw down a bloodstone like here. And um I'm gonna attack. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. And uh, now I want to do a conversion. Oh, we're not poisoned anymore. 
That's fine. We'll still get some health back for um, being wet and rotting for some reason. I don't know why we're rotting. Why are we rotting all the time? That's fine. I'm really not concerned about it too much. It's not a big deal. It, it might just be that I have too much stuff on me. Too much, like, things that, that are rotting. Um, we got some, like, moldy, moldy stuff. Moldy fruit. I, I wish there was an option to drop it. It looks like your only option is to eat it. So why not? Sure, we're already rotting. I, I could be torpid as well, I suppose. But, you know, I'll eat it. Eat the, eat the moldy meat. It's fine. It doesn't matter. You know, this is me at the fridge, you know? Like, oh, what was the expiration date? Oh, last month? Oh, okay, that's fine. It, it's whatever. It's mayonnaise. How bad could it go, you know? Like, it can't go that badly. Meanwhile, I've just, like, summoned creatures that, you know, are, are beyond my comprehension. We've got a big old spider over there. I don't know how I feel about taking on a big old spider. I really wish I had the ability to fight a uh, deer. Oh, wow, that guy hits hard. Let's go ahead and throw down a bloodstone and then back up a bit. And then we'll wait. Oh, wow, he dodged it too. Wow. Dude, good job. He's bleeding. Oink, oink. Oh, it, this is a boar. That's why That's why he hits hard is because he's a boar. Okay, uh, we're still rotting. I'm gonna convert some of that rot into more health. Honestly, I don't mind being like having the rotting uh, status because like it just means that we can convert that into health. And I'm always in need of some health. That just basically means we don't have to set up a campfire. Very happy with uh, my decision to take that s spell. It's proved to be a very, very useful. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and fight some bugs. Ouch. Um, again, we'll throw down a bloodstone there. Yeah, I figured I was gonna get... Oh, we only have three health. Okay, we gotta, we gotta use a potion. Sucks. Unless I use this. Uh, wait. Yeah, we don't have enough to convert, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know what this does. Curative properties. I would hope that it would cure us of our bleeding, but I can't really take that risk. Herb for brewing. We got a lot of brewing stuff, but, you know. We'll drink a potion. Sucks that we had to, you know. I, I, I'm hoping that the molding effect is um, something that's being caused by the environmental. Like, the, the area I'm in is causing rotting. And because maybe it's like a, it's like a jester landscape. Oh no. We're in the amber. We are insane. Oh no. We are fighting our own demons. Oh, flow. Uh, this guy really sucks, actually. Yeah, we're dead. That's, uh, that's the problem with madness. You really don't have any control over your faculty at all. Um, so, yeah, I'm really getting, I, like, I, as much as rotting isn't a big deal, it is kind of tiresome that we keep having it. We're poisoned. Um, let's go ahead and convert all of these effects into health. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that again. Oh, we're dead. Okay. Uh, I'm having some I'm having some bad luck right now. I know that you know some not all of this is uh, is luck. It's a lot of it is actually just my own doing. Nice. Uh, bleeding shoot. Really, I gotta be a bit more careful with that bloodstone, but it, it really does, um, prove itself worth using. So we're poisoned. At least we're not bleeding. I'm, I'm happy we're not bleeding. Bleeding is, I think, worse than poisoned in a way. I want to get this kindling. 
And I guess any, uh... Any hedgehog meat that we can. Wow, he got away. I can't believe it. He's uh, he's for sure gonna die. He was bleeding, but... Alright, we're leaving. Um... Yeah, I don't know really what I'm doing. I'm just kind of exploring. Oh, I don't like this at all. Let's throw down a bloodstone there and then back up a bit. And that was perfect. Ow. Oh, no, I got hit by it myself. Okay, convert. The nice thing about the conversion is that it doesn't just give me health. It also gets rid of the bleeding like quicker. Uh, yeah, we should be good. I feel like moving on the overworld actually gets rid of the bleeding quicker a little bit as well. More kindling. I'm gonna want to rest soon. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and throw down a campfire. I'm pretty sure that sets a checkpoint. So where's our... Okay, camp kit. Complete the camp kit with 10 kindling. Yeah. No space to set up a camp. What do you mean? What about here? Okay. Um, interact? No, not leave the area. <sighs> what was I supposed to do? Um... Oh, sleep. There we go. I feel like I didn't... Did I, did I do bad by breaking the fire? Didn't seem to set up a, set a checkpoint, which is really what I wanted. But it did recover all of my... Like, I, I am very, like fully recovered, including my mana, uh, which I guess I'm, I've, I'm still calling it that. Um, I'll go ahead and continue eat. Like, I'll eat meat that's rotting. I don't, I don't really care. Torpid, I'm, you know, what's the... Is, isn't there a way of, like... There's, there must be a, um... Tutorials on help. I feel like there's a way to, to, to a button you can press so that you can hover over something and it'll tell you open this help screen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, range attack next target. But I want to know what torpid means. Well, I guess I'm not going to find out. Hey, wait a minute. What do you mean for? Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to activate that. I just noticed that it said four. Why does it say four? Oh, cause it's on my four key, that's why. Well, I accidentally gave myself madness. That's unfortunate. But if I was able to, if I could kill an enemy while I was insane, then that would actually uh, give me progress towards Oh, wow. These spiders are going to suck, aren't they? I have zero control over what's happening right now. I am for sure going to die. Yeah, dead. And uh, let me guess, uh, campfire didn't set a checkpoint. Oh, I, I guess it did. Well, that's nice. Except I'm mad, maddened right now. I'm gonna sneak. I would like to get to this without um, having to fight that spider. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Ooh, what is that? My hands look, look wiggly. Max health up. Hey, now we're talking. A fly, delicious. Is this world real? Where's my teddy? Um, sneak on. This will probably kill me if I'm not careful. I'd really like to... Oh, God. This sucks so much. Jesus! I actually was at full health and died. <laughs> Killed by Kevin. Well, at least I... Oh, okay. I haven't got... Like, I don't have 450 health, so I know I have to go back in here. It'd be nice if I could kill something while I was maddened. I have to kill, like, a number of things while maddened, right? Um, the gesture list is defeat 50 enemies while insane. Now, it does say insane and not mad. So I am a little bit, um, curious if... 
there is an extra effect that means to be insane. Well, I'm no longer insane, so that's nice, I suppose. There's a bunch of stuff over, like, here. I was just wondering if this was anything. Or if it's just, uh... Just wasting my time. Okay. I do not want to fight... Spiders. I don't really want to fight bugs either, but... I know I at least have a chance here. I cast this luck spell when there's like one thing left on the on the in the field then it, I could at least make progress towards towards that um, goal this guy sucks I do not like any of that so we're gonna go ahead and convert what do you mean Reduces your health by half. There's no lingering damage over time. No status changes to power conversion. Excuse me? I'm rotting and I'm poisoned. Uh, do I not understand how that works? Convert a fraction of all status effects into health. I'm poisoned and I'm rotting. How is that? How, do, how are those not status effects? Okay, well, whatever. Um, we should be okay for now. There's another thing over there I kind of want to check out. We're going to get ambered. It's fine. A little bit worried that I'm going to get absolutely stomped over here. At least we have a checkpoint, so shouldn't be a big deal. Ooh, okay. Hmm. A drunkard spied a gift for his beloved in the weeds and reached for it, but a hidden asp bit him and threw, and though he slew it, he died. Okay, I get it. I get it. Um. Okay, a drunkard spied a gift for his beloved in the weeds and reached for it. But a hidden asp bit him, and though he slew it, he died. Um, I'm actually going to take a picture of this and keep it on my spare monitor. Because I don't have a good memory for these kind of things, and I know exactly what I'm supposed to do here. I just don't have the means to memorize the clue. So, um... A drunkard spied a gift for his beloved now what would that mean i feel like it would mean the there's no heart so i it might even mean the the center in the weeds i guess it could be the plant okay so a drunkard spied a gift in the weeds and reached for it but a hidden asp bit him and though he slew it he died there we go um now this guy is probably gonna demolish me right oh that did a lot of damage to him i managed to actually kill him you reached a do you received a devotional tier we got, we got some money. We actually achieved something. I feel like that didn't work the way it was supposed to. Like, they took a lot of damage from that. But I'm going to take it. We take those. Okay. Uh, let me see. So, we got a devotional tier. For who? I don't see any devotional. Oh, I, wait a minute. I got a devotional tier that I can spend. Oh... Maybe used to gain a point of devotion toward any god. Well, it would be kind of nice to get another tier in um, the wolf god. Let me let me see. Well, there's nothing we can buy, unfortunately. So actually, a devotional tier spent on the wolf god would be kind of wasted. Become in utterly invulnerable for a period. I wish I should really put this on a 
uh, 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 oh wow, it costs 80. I'm basically never going to use it. What about, um, blind fury? This, this is endurance. Carry and wear more without becoming encumbered. Um, that would be kind of nice. And there are some one points we could use. Since the presence of all living beings within visual range, ignoring obstacles and that would normally block line of sight. Uh, it's kind of similar to this one, right? See you that which surrounds you regardless of walls, including all traps and secrets. I guess it's a little bit different. Then there's um, Our Lady of the Sanguine Moon, which is perception increases sight, range, and accuracy. Would be kind of nice. Slash an enemy with a specially prepared hidden dagger, causing instantaneous blood loss status effect. Though sharp of eye will occasionally spot untainted blood, which will be collected in a file. Oh, we we want that. We want that. So let's put um, let's put our point on Our Lady of the Sanguine Moon. Our Lady of the Sanguine Moon perception, and then we are going to spend that on Gash, and we'll put that on six, and that means we're going to be able to collect blood. Um, for the purposes of uh, potion brewing. We're actually going to be able to get into potion brewing, hopefully. What is this? Change the allegiance of any mechanical foe or destroy traps. Okay, that's interesting. Teleport back to the main entrance. Alter the focus of your lamp to burn enemies with amber, and amber bane. There's uh, some really cool spells. I really, really appreciate the spells in this game. None of them feel like bad at all. I can't believe we got through that. That is so good. Now all we have to do is get home and make it canon. Now we do have a, um, we've got a Haven Stone attuned to Moon Upon Thos. Let's see if we can use that and if it'll use it up. Uh, it looks like it did use it up. That kind of sucks. I wish it didn't. I wish that it would kind of work like recoilers. Oh, well. Known for its ability to absorb topographical information about a local area and then present this to anyone gazing into it. I wish I understand how to use scrying stones and then had any faith that I could use it without it getting used up. But I know it would. So we're going to... We're gonna come back here. We're a little bit stronger. Um, we've got better means. Wow, we don't have any money, but uh, we are gonna rest up anyway. I think given enough time with this game, you would start to know like the areas that you have to shoot for like as, as soon as possible, you know? Um. All right, so what are we doing here? Could look at some armor. What do you got? Do you have that cool... Oh yeah, you have a masked cloak. That one looks really good because it gives us extra defense. Um, I guess it does technic... Oh, it raises our... No, it doesn't raise us. I'm just looking... I want to find uh, some armor that like does improve our, our armor our physical defense but doesn't like destroy our dodge mask cloak seems like good like a good version of that but i'm not sure if that's actually the case plate mail greave seems good but it reduces our movement by quite a bit um there is a leather armor which is actually pretty good but we don't have any money we got to sell some stuff let's sell some stuff i'm gonna sell all my chitin my scraps of fur uh, I'm not gonna sell my scraps of ancient metal just yet I might sell my minor construct I guess I could have used that when I fought the guardian you would have thought that um, wait a minute let me see here I thought that I would have defeated a guardian from that one lad visit the lords of dust Con repair a construct we did that Visit the wolf's hometown, find a legendary sword. Find a legendary shield. Gain the all-seeing eye. Destroy 100 undead. We're not even close to that one. Uh, 
discover every type of poison. I thought that one of these was like defeat a guardian. Find 50 ruins in the overworld. Become cursed by every other god. Defeat a relic guardian. Yeah, I guess that's that didn't count. Oh, well. Uh, we are getting kind of close to defeat 200 enemies and we'll get two points we can spend on something. Might uh, start looking at that, that now. Slam enemies back, forcing them into walls or creatures causes damage that scales based on the different difference between your strength and the targets. That's kind of cool. Um, throw your main weapon at a specific target. A slight flick of the wrist ensures that the weapon returns to one's hand after completing its journey. That's really neat. Um, leap to a free spot and smash the ground upon landing. These are really cool. What is this one? Howl into the air and summon one of the great wolf spectral kin to fight at, by your side. That's also similarly very cool. I'm wondering uh, if we could get a better weapon at some point. Can I... Hold on. Can I use this? No, I, it won't let me use this armor. Uh, this This anvil for like anything. I, I, like, I wish I could, I understood at all. Common trade item. Can we, so we can't use this at all, huh? Okay, um, you know, I was just wondering. I'm wondering, uh, if, like, certain items are literally just meant for buying and selling. Like, if I, um, let's look at, um, iron ingots. The sales tax here, or demand is plus 15, so I think I would be selling it for higher than I bought for. But I don't know how much I bought it for, so, you know, that's that's the, the part that sucks. Um, we still have a large potion of healing, that's nice. What do you sell? You sell really decent weapons. Oh, dark pin. Uh... You suspect this came from a Sibaroon cache and that you are far from its first owner. This is interesting. It doesn't do very much damage, but it has high crit chance or higher crit chance and it does magical damage. So that's kind of neat. We don't have any money though. I really need to start figuring out how to get some more money. It might be that I have to do start doing trading. Um, since there is, I guess, a change in demand it stands to reason that uh, I, I could be making better money if I like bought things in one area and sold them in a, in a different area. But I'm gonna have to start figuring that out because I like I'm I feel like I'm getting majorly um, hampered by the fact that I don't have money. I get a little bit of money from these guys for sure, but not a lot. Maybe I just need to roam around and, and do a bit of adventuring. There's some prey here. I don't seem to be rotting anymore, so I do think that was an effect of the landscape. I think there were like mushroom tiles that were, uh, you know, uh, okay. Uh, they, they kind of almost escaped, but they didn't. Uh, I think there were mushroom tiles that were causing rotting. You know what I'd like to do actually is um, I might do, <clears throat> do a bit of grinding. So what I'm going to do is like kill some enemies while I'm maddened. And I'm going to see if this improves my, uh, you know, ability. And I seem to have, even though I was mad there, it, it seemed to me I was able to do pretty much everything I wanted there. there. Now, did that actually progress my goal here? Defeat 50 enemies while insane. Yes, it did. So even though, um, you know, uh, terminology matters. I, I feel like it should say while mad. Is this uh, a new ruin? It get, I guess it is. So it might be that I have to do a bit of grinding in this game. It's an unusual um, because I, I, you know, I'm like, I'm not used to something like that, but um, I think that it, 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 it does make sense. It's not... You know, it's a relatively common thing for the most part. I like that. I, I I'm I'm trying so hard to actually stay in this style, but the insanity just like wants me to leave. Um. And now, okay, I can I can be insane again. Uh, let's let's do that. What is this? Uh, this actually does something for me. 
Distorts reality to increase your chances of doing critical jam damage and dodging incoming blows for a period. Unfortunately, your mental mortal mind cannot fathom this driving you insane. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, this is going to... It helps a lot. Like, I, I'd rather not have to go and find amber and roam around in that. It's much easier to just use this ability. Um, let's also throw this down. That was that was fantastic. That's exactly how you want that to go. I'm uh, just so you know, I'm only pressing exclusively. I am pressing right, and I was doing anything but actually fighting the the, the lad. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use conversion. That will convert some of our madness into health, but that's okay. We pretty much got everything we wanted here because I wanted all the ancient metal so that I could repair this broken minor construct. Um, reduced by three due to dust devotion. That's quite nice, actually. So we can repair another artifact that doesn't give us any more devotion because I've already done it once. Um, but it, you know, it's, it's still nice. We have another one of those. We can sell them. We have the option. Uh, I do kind of want to check out this... Um, mountain dungeon i don't think i necessarily have the means to finish it but dying is not necessarily a bad thing in this game it kind of re-rolls other you know ruins and stuff i think um i might be wrong about that but i'm gonna check out this location see uh how i fare fill empty bottle with oil I think I've been here before in a previous run, and I didn't do too badly. Let's try out Gash, because I want to get some, uh, some blood. Fail to spot suitable blood for collection. Okay, so that is something that I'm going to keep in mind. Ow, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Ow! Ow! God damn it. No status effect. Fire is not an adequate status effect, I guess. Okay, we're going to gash this lad. Blood tainted. It might be that these guys um, being, I think they're like undead. What are they? Forgotten hits you. They might not have any suitable blood for me to collect. Go away, fire. Oh, whatever. I'm, I'm going to just collect it. This is a pretty difficult dungeon, mostly because of the fire everywhere. But I refuse to give up. Yeah, the jangling uh, alerts everything of... Wow, that was pretty far to shoot. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to try and gash this guy, and if I get nothing... Ooh, you collect a file of blood, so never mind. Um, I am able to collect from those guys. So now, now that I have a file of blood, can we... Oh, we put that in an empty flask. Prized by the Sanguine Witches and used in brewing of potions. Rumors suggest that witches also imbibe blood to supplement their me meager diet. If I hit enter, I will drink it. I don't necessarily want to drink it. So if I use Moon Sap, uh, doesn't really seem to let me do that, huh? What about Sarah Leaf Oil? Truth is quite... Uh, enter is apply. Thick, sticky liquid which counters all forms of deafness in the user. Replenishes energy. Well, I, I guess I still don't know what to do. Oh, enter is brew. Okay. You require two file of blood to brew. Reduced by zero with your current sanguine dedication. You have one. Okay, so I need more. Hopefully we can get some from this lad here. Is immune to bleeding. Okay, so we can't... We, we need something that can bleed. Let's throw down uh, one of these lads. Uh, I think I'm going to get hit by that no matter what. Yeah, uh, I am bleeding. We're going to go ahead and convert that into health and uh, wait it out a little bit. Actually, if I go and fight something, I have a better chance of converting... Oh, 
I, I'm not a fan of that. Gonna have to heal. Um, we, st we have one potion left. Okay, you are vulnerable. Yeah, they they webbed us. We're just gonna have to fight this out. They're bleeding. Get back here. Okay, we, we killed them. We got some moldy fruit. Good for us. Got some ancient metal. So far, so good. Um, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. I really want that fire to disappear, but it doesn't look like it's going to, so... Okay, let's um actually go into sneak mode for a bit. And we'll gash them. Can we get some... Enough file to brew a potion. Yes. Let's uh, see how that works. Uh, brew a potion with two empty flasks and two file of blood. Reduce... Yes. So... Uh, choose a herb to add to the blood. Oh, no. We're going to have to, like, figure out recipes and stuff. Let's try... Well, let's have a look at them. How about that? Oh, no. It's just... It just... They all are random. Um, well, they, it, we don't know any recipe. So let's try some moon sap. Your brewing attempt succeeds. You create sight salve. Okay, well, that's not really what we wanted. The way of all blind angels is to offset the negative effects of their rituals. Uh, milky liquid brewed from fermented aller bark. Well, how did we make sight salve when we made when we used it with moon sap? I thought we used moon sap. Aller bark. The the riviates. Der, uh, derivate, derivatives. I don't know why that was so hard for me. Are often used by those following the way of the all blind angels to offset the negative effects of their rituals. I don't know what this does. Um. We, we made it. Uh, so we're gonna need more blood if I want. I really want to figure out how to make um healing potions. I mean that trap spotted. Good for us. Good for us for spotting that. We're spotting all kinds of traps. I got some, I got a scrying stone. There's more to our southeast, but I don't want to like step on a trap. You know, step on a trap, break your own back. Cause you know, there's a giant sledge that fell on us. Doing quite well right now. I would like to kill this bat. Kill. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna gash this lad. Blood tainted. Okay, we didn't get any blood from them. That's fine. We did kill them without taking any damage. We got an antidote. I'm not gonna step on those chains because they do create noise, and even though there's no enemies nearby, yeah, there's something like that can happen. Let's gash this guy. Resist bleeding, no blood. I mean, that seems rather rude, to be honest. Um, we have no mana, so we can't cast anything. I'm enjoying this right now. I'm, I feel like I have the means to actually, like, you know, get through this dungeon. We've got some fur, we got some arrows. We have so many arrows and no way of actually... Oh god, we're on fire. No Man's Eye Amulet. No man's eye amulet. Let's look at what that does. Oh, it's something we can wear, maybe. Um, inc decreases our running speed. Fashioned from the jeweled eye of a no man. Perhaps the improved wand damage you perceive when wearing the device is due to residual energy from the eye's original no man owner. It. Oh, we can we can wear it. I think at no cost, except for maybe a little. Little tiny bit of movement. It took a little bit of damage from from, from uh, some fire there. Do we have a, a map? We do have a map. I, it's prob possibly the first time I've actually used that map. We have um, a potion over here. Oh, antidote. 
Got some guineas, nothing useful. Moldy fruit. We're just kind of roaming. I'll go ahead and step on that. We'll step on that. Stepping on all of the things that are bad for us. There's a there is a door below us. Oh, I guess we can't go through that door. Yeah, it's one of those doors where we need to find a way around it. I I actually hold out some hope of defeating this, although we are ending the episode very soon. Can we gash this fellow? Gash. Blood tainted. Unfortunate. What is that? Ooh, hot. We are aflame. But that's okay. We we got quite a lot of money from that. Let's go ahead and collect some more um, oil. We got two amber amber oil from that. Is that the full dungeon? It uh, doesn't seem right, but it, we did get through quite a lot of it. The only thing left to do is actually what. Uh, in that room with the traps, we didn't fully explore it because uh, we couldn't really. So now what do we want to do? Go right and I think we want to step right here because that means only trapping one thing. Okay, there's nothing over there. Took damage for no, no for nothing. So the only thing left is to explore the north end of the dungeon. I'm not really seeing anything else. Oh, there's some money over there. Don't forget the money. Ow, ow, ow. We're on fire. Ow. Um, we can't convert it, unfortunately. Can't convert the fire. Ah, shoot. Um. Well, ah, god damn it. It's so hard to see where the where it's going to land. Bard. Oh god, really? We can go left, I think. <sighs> this sucks. Well, there's our staircase leading up. Is that where we came from? I'm just about done here. Wouldn't mind, like, checking the last couple of boxes here, but I am a little bit worried that we're going to encounter something that can take us out in, like, one shot. Anything in here? Let's, like, go into sneak mode just to be extra cautious. Nothing over here. I'm actually getting a little bit nervous, I won't lie. Oh, that just leads back. Okay, so that's the full dungeon explored. We're done. We really we really don't need to be taking any extra risks here. Um, cool. So we did that. Um, we'll go back to uh, Moss to the Moon or whatever. Moon to the Moss. What is this place called? I don't know. Moon upon Thos. That's it. <laughs> Uh, and I'll, I'll rest up and uh, maybe we can see if we can sell anything that we got. We got some more money. But that's going to end the episode. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.